Hello my little beauties, it's David Connolly here. That's David Connolly from www.dcradionetwork.com, your number one website for web development talk, social media marketing, SEO conversation, and general stuff dedicated to the web. dcradionetwork.com, I hope you'll join me there. But you know, I'm not here to talk about that. I'm here to talk about HMVC and Codeigniter. You know, a couple of weeks ago, I was not feeling too well. I was in bed with a terrible flu. And in my boredom, I decided to make up a little video series uh, talking about web development and specifically uh, some tutorials on how to use HMVC with Codeigniter. Now, at the time, I was really sick, you know. In fact, if you missed that video, here's a sneak preview of what you missed. Oh, my God. Oh. Ah. Welcome. And I suppose you're all wondering, what is HMVC? Anyway, now I'm feeling slightly better. I thought I'd, I'd go back to some of those old videos and just redo them, you know? And this time, I'm gonna make them shorter and snappier and just generally much, much cooler. So this is my introduction to HMVC with the Code Igniter framework. Ding, 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 ding. So, welcome to this little video series on how to use HMVC with the Code Igniter framework. I want to stress, you know, this is my particular uh, way of using HMVC. I'm sure there are tons of people who uh, would use HMVC their way, and that's fine, you know, I'm not messing with any of those people. Um, but anyway, this is how I use HMVC. I am a commercial web developer, and uh, it's worked pretty well for me. So, I have a little uh, slideshow here, and with your permission, I'll get kick, 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 I'll kick this one off. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Now, listen, I'm assuming that you've used normal, what some of us would call vanilla Codeigniter. And you know, Codeigniter comes with MVC uh, kind of pre-packaged, you know. Uh, MVC is cool. You know, you, you have your separation of the database stuff, the, the uh, HTML stuff, you know, the view files and the PHP stuff and the controls. That's cool, okay? But there are some problems with, uh, with MVC. And specifically, I've boiled it down to five problems, okay? And very quickly, they are as follows. One, it's very difficult to transplant features from one website to another when you're using MVC, okay? Um, so say you have a calendar or something, and then another guy with another website wants the same feature, transplanting that stuff around is not easy, okay? Next, working with other web developers is a complete nightmare when you're using MVC. And the reason for that is because you're always tripping up over each other's files and you know, it's just hassle and if they use different coding styles, it's just no fun at all, okay? Uh, trust me on that one. Next, MVC sites can easily fall apart like a house of cards when they become really big. So what, what, what I'm trying to say here is that, you know, MVC is fine for reasonably simple websites, but once you start building big sites, okay, I mean, you know, sites with, with content management, sales management, lead management, and handling systems, and you know, systems for measuring all sorts of things and all fancy bells and whistles. When those sites start getting really big, you know, and complex, MVC just doesn't cut it. They fall apart. They become very difficult to maintain. Uh, again, you, you know, if you haven't experienced that already, just trust me, okay? Uh, next, people can't agree on how to use MVC. Can you believe it? Even not only in the coding night of uh, community, but even across other frameworks communities, people just cannot agree 
on the basics of MVC, you know. Um, there's a guy on YouTube, I think his name's Steph Mischuk, and he does a series called KillerPHP.com. And he's on YouTube having a go at MVC and the Code Igniter people and how we use it. And, you know, he makes some fair enough points. And I'm not taking sides, but I'm just saying that people cannot agree on how to use MVC. It's a problem, okay? Uh, lastly, adding widgets is a pain in the ass, okay? So if, if somebody uh, says to you, and you've built a website in MVC, and they say, hey man, could you add a little calendar thing maybe on the top left-hand corner? Could you maybe add that to the site? Doing that kind of thing with MVC is a complete pain in the ass. In fact, I'm not even sure how to do it. I don't even know for sure how to do it. MVC is just, you know, Sometimes it just isn't up to the job. So, why is HMVC cool or why HMVC is cool? All we have to do, you know, is take those five bullet points and flip them over. So super quickly, uh, I've just said, you know, it's super easy to transplant features from one website to another. Working with other web developers is easy. And the reason for that is because everything's broken down into modules. So you can, if you're working with another developer, you can say, hey man, you go work on the shopping cart and I'll go work on the forum. And you guys can happily work on different features and you will not trip up over each other. It's very cool, okay? Third, HMVC sites don't fall apart when they become really big, provided important, provided a few simple naming conventions are followed. And I'm going to tell you what those naming conventions are later on. And if we just, just agree to some very simple, super easy naming conventions, you know, you're going to build websites which are rock solid. They will stand the test of time. Uh, fourth, developers with different coding styles can live in peace and harmony. And you know, it's funny, but we all code kind of differently. You know, I have a slightly old-fashioned way of coding. You'll probably see that later on. And everyone does things slightly differently, you know. But with HMVC, that's okay because it's modular, you see. So someone else can build something and it doesn't matter if their coding style is a bit different from yours because it's isolated within a module. And as long as that module works, we're okay. And finally, adding widgets is super easy. You know something, I, I have a feeling that that last point is kind of the same as the first point in a strange way, or at least similar, but that's okay because I really like the first point and it's kind of worth repeating, even, even if it's been repackaged just a wee bit. So that's pretty much the benefits and all of that stuff of using HMVC. In the next video, I'm going to talk about uh, HMVC structure and I'm going to go into a bit more detail about how HMVC websites are slightly different from MVC websites. I hope to see you then. Stay cool. Bye.